Okay, but as confusing as the whole entire story is, when you hear this is the guy that killed Takeoff, is this not like one of the most trickiest situations you ever seen? Fuck yeah. Because I told you, I, I don't know what to, I don't know what is facts. I don't know what to believe. I don't know what is truth. This bitch, this motherfucker here ranked right up there with two, the Tupac case. It was the conspiracy of Tupac death, all this, all that. And now we right here with Nipsey, it was on camera like this nigga down Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? And every other Merc, PNB Rock or XX Titasi, all these niggas here, it's been concrete. But with this, it's a lot of speculation floating around. So that's why I said it's right there with Tupac. Biggie shit. It's, it's right. speculation with Biggie right. shit too. And, and the rap a lot would be probably the most comparable thing to Death Row. If not greater than Death Row. Greater. If not greater than Death Row. For when you see people always, even Snoop bought Death Row, the title, the Death Row chain. It's people who's born in 97 wearing Death Row shirts. And I feel like the Death Row and the rap a lot symbolization. Yeah, but, but I, I, I can't. I, I, it symbolizes a certain element yeah, but, in yeah, business but, and but, streets. But, 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 but as big. As Death Row, fuck no. I, I was but Death Row, but Death Row, Death comes first. Yeah, no, nah, Death Row but, okay. is worldwide. That's true, but okay, so with like this, every Death Row got multiple. But with this being said, uh, with this being, but rap a lot is big, but rap a lot is big humongous. as Death Row, fuck no. Rap a lot is humongous, but nah, there's not all, a, along with no, rap, fuck no. Rap a lot only got one nigga that's probably along with ra along with rap. Bigger. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Along with rap a lot comes. A version of rap a lot which is younger called mob ties yeah mob ties right junior do you consider rap a lot and mob ties to be the same thing or different entities I, I consider it to be an offshoot it's a uh, it's under the umbrella of rap a lot but it's not under the watchful eye of Lil J okay you know what I'm saying because at the night that that shit happened Jay wasn't there it wasn't a rap a lot event. It was a mob ties event, but mob ties is under the umbrella of rap a lot because Jay is Junior's father, and he, you know, gave him the knowledge, inspiration to do his own thing. But at the same time, it's still affiliated. It's a rap a lot affiliate right. that that's trying to grow its wings and grow. Now, you know. If they've been clipped because of this incident, I really feel like like that shit that just blew the doors off the hinges for Fifty. You know what I'm saying? Because for Fifty, 50 yeah, fuck yeah, man, that man oh. infiltrated our motherfucking city, and that shit that it's a cloud over. It's a matters. It's gonna always be a cloud over that entity, over that group, over that society, over that record label, over that. Conglomerate, whatever label you want to okay. put over. So you feel like this incident with Takeoff created enough leeway for Fifty Cent to come in. Fifty already and got like capitalized and capitalized on the Houston Entertainment Real Estate. He already been doing that because but the you feel like this even the, solidified. Yeah, because okay. now you got motherfuckers gonna shift alliance and okay, it's safer over here. You got political figures, all this shit here, man. We can't align ourselves with this because this, it got a stain on it. If it's true, if it's not true, it's, it still got a stain on it. Running down the history of mob ties, I was telling you, like, look, we got Marley G. Uh, Marley G, not necessarily, he wasn't murdered in Houston. He wasn't murdered on nothing, but that's, in essence, Mob ties Drake. He's the first artist that really they put behind, and then from there it came, it came Honeycomb Brazy, who went to prison, who had to do whatever. And but he, Honeycomb Brazy, and, and they they shot his uh, grandmother house, house up, yeah, right? Yeah. Set Honey, it on fire. Set, set shot it, it on up. fire and yeah, shot it up. Yeah. Honeycomb Brazy, uh, Duke the Jeweler. The Duke the Jeweler situation is attached. Yeah, that's crazy. To mob ties. I don't even know all the details of that, but yeah, that's, I don't, I don't, I don't, that's attached to mob yeah. ties. And then even more so, 
NBA young boy a couple years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, when they broke in his house. Somebody had broken his house in yeah. Houston. I don't know if that's necessarily yeah, that's I, the yeah, I don't, I don't. But Lil J came up with the umbrella and all that shit that, yeah. Right. right. So oh, I would say historically, rap a lot has been. As a, as a lately, like me and Dale was talking, man, the power behind rap a lot used to be the mystique right. of Lil J. But now with this social media shit, Lil J coming out in front and doing all the power was the like niggas in Houston knew of Lil J, but like outside of Houston, motherfucker was like, damn, like on on a, a Breakfast Club interview, they called the nigga the boogeyman. Right, right. And right. that was part of the mystique of rap a lot. So, you know, I re you know, man, the universe works how I wanna work. I, I really can't say what's what. Like in all the shit you named, because some shit is just ordained and some shit is just supposed to be. And I know as people, we look for patterns and we look to connect shit with other shit. But I don't, I don't know because I, I wasn't there and I know how shit may look and I know how motherfuckers be like, oh, it's this, it's this, it's this. I don't know, my nigga. I really don't. But, you know, for so much shit to be happening like back to back to back and then all of it is connected what i will say is that like warning comes before destruction like a motherfucker because i've never ever ever understood my warnings until i was locked the fuck up or until i was destructed already you know what i'm talking about then i seen then i recognized the patterns and i was like damn that shit was trying to tell me this shit was on the way so you know I don't know when when certain shit just goes to happening back to back. You got to pay attention, but I know a lot of us lives in the moment and we don't view it as that. Especially if we're in a position to where we ain't got to give a fuck, you know. For sure. So so okay, comparing the lineage of rap a lot and mob ties. When you look at it, is it a fair thing to say that mob ties is possibly Tarnishing the rap a lot legacy. A lot of people would feel like that, and I, shit, like I say, man, I can only imagine when Lil J woke up to the call that Takeoff got his head. I, I, I imagine, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, crazy. Well, I could imagine he was like, man, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like this is a different type of cleanup, you know? So, you know, uh, being tied in and linked with somebody else, nigga, guilty by association is a motherfucker. You know, <laughs> so, you know, especially with it being your seed and your son. So, you know, even if you ain't directly tied into it, motherfuckers still look at it like, like this is the nigga you raised or, you know, this nigga comes from you. So what did you instill in him to allow this shit to take place? Yeah. So, you know, in this world of day, man, everybody got an opinion, everybody got a voice, everybody got a viewpoint. And I just try to understand as much of it as possible. Is what's going on with Rap A Lot and Mob Ties, do you think ultimately it can affect Houston's music scene? Houston's no, because Houston is a, for anybody that wasn't born and raised in Houston and don't understand Houston, Houston is a crazy, crazy place, my nigga. Like, the culture of Houston, like if especially the underground culture with niggas, like your place ain't official until somebody get killed that nigga. Somebody get killed at your club the next week, that bitch gonna be jumping. <laughs> nah, Houston is a very mysterious it's kind of place. Crazy nigga. The, a nigga get down to your club the next week, the club you ain't gonna even be able to get in the parking lot, man. Houston crazy as fuck. Nah, for real. For real.